Despite the UK's exit from the EU, the London Stock Exchange, the LSE, is still ahead in the euro clearing business. The fact that the clearing of euro denominated financial derivatives is dominated by a company outside the eurozone is a thorn in the side of many supervisors and politicians. But the hope of Deutsche Börse to quickly steal a large part of their business from the LSE subsidiary LCH Clearnet in the wake of Brexit have so far not been fulfilled. Growth is slower than we originally expected for the second half of the year, said Eurex Clearing Board member Matthias Graulich. This is mainly due to COVID-19 and its effects, but everything is going in the right direction to achieve our goals. According to its own information, the Deutsche Börse subsidiary Eurex currently has a market share of 19% in euro clearing and intends to expand this to 25% by the end of the year. It is very difficult to predict where Eurex will be at the end of the year, said Graulich. It is important to make progress from month to month. The clearing houses take care of the settlement and processing of securities, transactions and stand between seller and buyer. You are so exposed to high risk if one party fails in trading. They are therefore considered risky for the financial system and have been closely monitored since the financial crisis. In the worst case, they would have to be supported by tax money. Supervisors are therefore urging that transactions with EU customers should also be cleared in the EU. Because one does not know how a clearing house will behave if it is confronted with different requirements of the supervisors in the USA, Great Britain and the EU in the event of a crisis. According to experts, a new rule that forces market participants such as asset managers to provide collateral margin on swap transactions will stimulate the clearinghouse's business. But the new rule was postponed by one year to September 2021 due to the corona crisis. In addition, some banks have shied away from relocating their business to Frankfurt in the middle of the pandemic and postponing it accordingly, said Graulich. Many traders worked from home while the exchanges went on a roller coaster ride. In that situation, they wouldn't have wanted to deal with complex issues like relocating clearing. The London Stock Exchange has said there is no noticeable shift in clearing. In the coming weeks, the EU will decide how long the LCH may still conduct business with the EU customers after the end of the Brexit transition phase at the turn of the year. The Bank of England had called for clarity to be in place by the end of September in order to avoid market distortions. Since Eurex needs more time to replace the LCH, an extension of the permit is necessary. But for Great Britain, this is also associated with political costs. The Bank of England will have to allow the EU securities regulator ESMA to jointly monitor the LCH so that the clearinghouse can continue to gain access to the EU market. However, lawyers point out that the banks will not voluntarily relocate their clearing activities to Frankfurt because of the associated costs. Banks will only move their positions if they are told to, said Simon Gleason of Clifford Chan's law firm. The EU must develop its own financial market infrastructures because of the Brexit, said Graulich. Over the next five to ten years, this is crucial for the EU's success. And if you now want to know more about European politics, YouTube has chosen another of my videos right here for you on the end screen, right next to your chance to subscribe to my channel, which I hope you already did. I'll see you in my next video. Click and enjoy. Viel Spaß!